With only two more Far Cry games left to Platinum, it was time for New Dawn. One that I wasn't really sure going into, and after finishing it, I would say it's probably my least favourite one so far. With two main characters I really didn't care for, these twins were just boring, even with what little screen time they actually had. The game takes place after the crazy ending of Far Cry 5 where, spoiler alert, leave the video now if you don't want to know, a nuke went off and destroyed what we thought at the time, everything living. So we're back, but in a very different Hope County, with the goal of rebuilding, which does factor into the gameplay, similar to Far Cry Primal, and taking out these two annoying twins who also unfortunately survived. As for the Platinum Trophy, I'm going to break it up into three parts. The story, clean up, and then finally completing all seven expeditions on rank three difficulty. And it's one co-op trophy. Thankfully, we don't have any trash ass multiplayer trophies to deal with like we did in Far Cry 5. Thank God. So, let's go and grab all 51 trophies in Far Cry New Dawn. The first of which was for helping Carmina get back to her mother in Prosperity our new home, helped Bean get his business plan back so he could set up his intel network, looted a supply drop, you'll see these things randomly fall from the sky, kill anything trying to take it before you do, yoink, lock picked 5 safes, for this you'll need the lock picking perk, you'll find the safes all over the place so just simply find one, go up to it, hold square and it'll open them. I then recruited another specialist called Grace. We just had to recover a prototype gun. Graceful return. Next was the only semi missable trophy in the game. I gathered intel 10 times by talking to Bean Scouts. They show up randomly all around the world. You'll know when you find one because they'll have a little marker above their head. The only reason it's missable is because if you somehow complete everything 100%, they'll stop spawning since you, well, no longer need any more intel. So as long as you talk to them when you see them, you should have this long before finishing the game. Oh, honorary scout. I then upgraded prosperity for the first time. We'll be fully upgrading everything later anyway. Is born again. Home is where the part is. Completed the story mission under siege. Boom. Prospering. Return to Selena's stash. Coming up with the goods. Ended a monstrous animal. These are a bit like mini bosses. They're quite tough to take out. We will, however, have to take out a bunch more for another trophy. Kill or be killed. Used a charge attack with a melee weapon to knock off an enemy's hat. Level 3 and 4 enemies are the ones that have the helmets, so find one and mess him up. Oh nice. Tip of the hat. Gathered my 15th plant. Oh, forager. Yeah, the 15 plants growing in Hope County. It's the closest thing to a pharmacy we have nowadays. Crafted my third weapon. You'll need crafting materials to do this, but you get them for basically doing almost everything. I reunited Nick with Carmina and Kim. The reunion. <laughs> that was good. Performed my 25th enemy takedown. Bring a knife to a gunfight. Completed my third treasure hunt mission. The game has 10 of these which are marked on the map with a green gem. They're basically like the prepper stash missions from Far Cry 5. Once you get to the location you'll have some kind of little puzzle that you need to figure out to actually get inside and grab the treasure. Finders Keepers complete three treasure hunt missions. I saved and recruited Horatio. Our new friendly boar. Ooh, save your bacon. Recruit Hor Horatio. Don't mind his temper, it can be a, a pig headed sometimes. 
helped bring back a father to New Eden. Yep, Joseph Seed from Far Cry 5 is still alive. And he's a bit of a changed man. He somehow managed to get away and hide in a bunker to survive. Ooh, return to Eden. And then scavenged an outpost. Basically, once you've taken over an outpost, which is a Far Cry staple at this point, you can then go up to the table in the outpost and reset the outpost, letting the enemy retake it. But you do earn upgrade materials, which are very important for upgrading your base. We'll need to do this a lot more anyway in the future for another trophy. But this was the first one. Oh, reduce, reuse and recycle. I then recruited my last gun for hire. Ooh, closed for applications. Performed an aerial takedown after using the leap of faith ability. Once unlocked, it gives you the ability to double jump. So simply double jump towards an enemy, hit R3 and boom. Hey father, watch this. Completed my first expedition. For these, you head out to a completely new area that's not on the normal map and you're tasked with stealing some supplies. As mentioned earlier though, we'll need to beat all seven at rank three later. Expeditious retreat. Complete your first expedition to force the highwaymen out of a stronghold. Used three smoke grenades. Ooh, oof. Stole an ethanol tanker and took it back to one of the outposts. These tankers will randomly spawn all around the world. No, don't blow it up. Stop, stop. And are marked when you get close to them. But for whatever reason, I had so many issues actually doing this trophy with the tankers just simply disappearing randomly. And most of the time when I took the tanker back to an outpost, it just simply wasn't letting me deliver it. After a little bit of trial and error though, I finally got it. Oh my god, finally. White gold. Commandeer an ethanol tanker and bring it back to one of your... This trophy was so annoying. I drove a couple back. It just didn't want to work. The trophy didn't want to pop up when I got out. I've had them vanish on me and most of the time they just bloody blow up. So glad this one's done because it was annoying. Found all nine photograph locations. These show how Hope County looked before it was destroyed. Oh, a thousand words completed. That's all nine of the pictures done. Got the trophy before. Find all the deer photograph locations and see Hope County as it used to be. Purchase the fifth tier of any stackable perk. So certain perks like carrying more med kits or more ammo, for example, allow you to upgrade more than once. So you just do that five times. Boom. Stack them up. Deleted my first enforcer. These are the elite enemies that have uh, like yellow health bar and a crown. They're pretty tough to take out, but they're nothing too crazy. Ooh, Captain's Courageous. Kill your first enforcer. I'm sure this will send highwaymen a good message. Not long after, ended an enforcer with a headshot using armor piercing ammo. It's super effective. And finally defeated the annoying twins. They won't be missed. And the boss fight is also kind of crap. Do what you gotta do. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Game yeah, I mean, I'm about to try and humanize these pieces of crap. Problem solver. Trophy. Solve the biggest problem in Hope County by defeating the twins. And a shooter. Good night. I then took on the final mission and decided the fate of Father Joseph. What you decide doesn't seem to actually change anything though. Boom, there it is. The end of Eden. Decide the fate of the father. That's the story complete. So now it's time to uh, start unlocking any of the miscellaneous stuff, fully upgrading the prosperity. So now with the story complete, it was time to move on to the cleanup phase. Mr. Beauchamp, sir, can I ask you a question? Long 
Trey Vu, little dude. The doors of my mind palace are always open to you. What's an orgasm? Holy smokes, Bean, did you ever come to the right guy? I've, I've been practicing this talk, you know. Yeah, on account of my kiddo. I'm all ears. So, okay, an orgasm is like um, these pleasurable rhythmic muscle spasms at the end of the sexual response cycle. It's physical, endocrinological, and if you're doing it right, it's emotional, too. Does that answer your question? Gosh. I have more questions, Mr. Beauchamp. I can't do it right now, or like wait this second, but sometime soon we'll hang out. We'll kill some party liquor, and I'll tell you anything you want to know for serious. Hi there, mister. Being asking the important questions. With the first one being for driving with my best bud, Timber, in the car for a total of five minutes. Oh, sidecar sidekick. I discovered some sweet tunes for finding all 10 MP3 players. Audio file complete. Nice. Next, I had to get airborne in the plane called Carmina. This is Nick's plane from Far Cry 5, however, it can no longer fly. So, how do we get it airborne? Well, first, I went to the boathouse to spawn it, and then crafted some dynamite. After getting a little bit of speed, I threw the dynamite in front of me, and into the water, and just like that, we're flying, or at least for a couple of seconds. Earning the trophy, and we're still alive. Win-win, mate. Oh! Jesus! Fly, you fools! Crafted my 10th medkit. Ooh. How's it look, Doc? Killed 10 brawler enemies with a saw launcher weapon. Brawlers are these dudes with the with shields. Nice. Buzzkill. Next, I finished off an enforcer with a bayonet. So just craft any weapon that has the attachment and go and end an enforcer. Although I actually had a lot of trouble with this trophy because my character kept using the normal takedown instead of using the bayonet. So after weakening the enemy and probably about 20 attempts, I finally did it. Boom, finally I got that one. Boom, get to the point. Crafted my first legendary weapon or vehicle. Ooh. Legend has it. I then ended an enemy with a basic bow from 100 meters away. Boom. Archery expert. Channeled my inner cap and took out five enemies by throwing a shield at them. <laughs> Good job, cat. Survived a 30 meter fall by using the leap of faith ability. Simply use the second jump just before hitting the ground and golden. Ooh, we drop it in, boys. There we go. So I needed to use that to save myself. Springboard. I then caught one of every type of fish. Unlike Far Cry 5, you don't need to catch certain sizes. And there's only six in this game, so the, the rest of them must have been wiped out. There we go. You're a catch. Unlocked the final perk. That's 30 altogether. You shouldn't have any problems. You get plenty of skill points to get all the upgrades. Just remember though, some perks can be upgraded multiple times. And for this trophy, you only need to have a level one of every perk. Perk alert. I liberated a rank three outpost while staying undetected. To get a level three outpost, just complete levels one and two. And then if you don't manage to do it on the level three, just reset the outpost again and you can retry. There we go. Pure ninja. Liberate a rank three outpost while staying undetected. For some reason, I feel like I did a couple undetected of rank threes, but um, for some reason it just didn't unlock. The strategy I just ended up using there was just using my uh, allies to kill everyone while I just hide. A fully built prosperity with all upgrades you'll get tons of ethanol from retaking the outposts as i just mentioned a moment ago so you should have plenty and then this should be final upgrade yep there we go my little fortress make prosperity better than ever build out infrastructure upgrades available speaking of i liberated all 10 outposts at least once on rank three so if you didn't have enough FNL before to fully upgrade Prosperity, 
you should now. Boom, there it is. All your bases. Liberate all outposts at least once on rank three. And then this next one called anger management. For a reason, you need to eliminate 10 enemies with a single use of wrath. This is an ability that drains once activated and doesn't last very long. After trying and failing for well over an hour, I started to get pissed. So dog shit. So I had a little look online and it turns out there's a much easier way of doing this. So craft an elite chopper that has the rockets and the machine gun on it. Go to an outpost, fire a few bullets to get everyone's attention and allow them all to kind of group up together. Press R3 to activate your ability and just go to town, destroying everyone. This way is so much easier. So don't be like me and just save yourself the headache. Oh my god, finally. Anger management. This trophy, man. Oh my god, I'm gonna need anger management after this one. Jesus Christ. Thank god that's done. So, after that headache, I needed a break. Apparently, a two-month break. Once I returned, it was on to the final phase. Completing all seven expeditions on rank three. Which means beating them all three times. So while doing this, I also had two other trophies that I needed to get during this mode. The first for completing three in co-op. And since the game has no matchmaking, I made a community post here on YouTube asking for help. So shout out to Platinum Serpent for helping me out. You're an absolute champ. Boom, there it is. Have buddy. Will travel, complete three expeditions with a co-op partner. I think that is the only online co-op trophy in the game as well. So I can now focus on the remaining few trophies that I need and the expeditions. I then went and picked up Sam Fisher's outfit in the government plane wreck expedition. It's a cool little splinter cell Easter egg, a game that really does need to come back. Can we get, can we get on that Ubisoft? Leave a comment if you agree. So I went to this crashed plane interacted with a laptop and opened up a secret door revealing the outfit there it is paladin's secret next i skinned my final of 25 animals the reason this one was left so late is because the skunk hare crocodile and shark are exclusive to certain expeditions all right this should hopefully be the last one i need yep there we go Master Skinner. Collected one of each on every type of animal in Hope County. Not creepy at all. And then the final trophy before the Platinum for completing all seven expeditions on rank three difficulty. All right, there it is. Package is over here. Just going to get in there, get the package, get our asses out. Back to the chopper. All right, there's our package. Grab that puppy and let's get out of here. All right, two minute timer starts. Just gotta survive now and get out of here. And hopefully get out of here with the final trophy and the platinum. Alright, chopper's here. Come on, buddy, let's go. Does he park on top of this uh, gas station? Ah, you bitch. Yep. Let's go, let's go. Get me out of here. It's alright, go, bro. We out of here. See you later, suckers. Boom, there it is. Final trophy. Hit the road, complete seven unique expeditions on the rank three difficulty, which means we're a conqueror. That's the platinum trophy in Far Cry, New Dawn, done, complete. Pretty fun overall, but that's it for this one. I've been Mr. Lee Ning, subscribe for Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Take care, and I'll catch you all on the next video.